Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is brought to you by Specsavers Dungarvan and takes place over three rounds in the Premier Lightweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Team Rhino Waterford. He brings into the cage a record of three wins and three defeats. Give it up for Kevin Keogh! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He represents SVG and brings into the cage a record of one win and two defeats. Presenting Aiden Fegan! A really good southpaw up against Aiden Fegan of SVG. Kevin has told me to watch out for his leg kicks. Oh, his inside-outside leg kicks are brilliant. He looked great in his last performance. The decision loss for the title on short notice against Tiernan Loughran at EURFC. And letting the hands go. He's got really good takedown defence. Uh, yeah. Really good takedowns himself, has Kyo. Aiden's uh, jiu-jitsu is supposed to be very good. Yeah, perfect belt in jiu-jitsu under John Kavanagh. says his style is extremely heavy technical MMA. Yeah, he so lost his first two bouts in 2019 and 2022. And then the last one was a win here on Premier FC3 last August by TKO over Niall Challoner. Lovely inside beautiful trip, beautiful take work. Oh, Uchi Gary there on display by Aidan Fegan. Yo. Is that a guard pass? Or is he up on his feet? Kyo is up the front headlock position, but he's going to disengage here. Now he's pressing vegan mm -hmm. against the fence. Kyo won three bouts in 2022, his first three bouts, and has lost all three bouts this year. But his last one, as I said, against Lochran, for me, was one of his best performances. That, that knee, he just hit into the middle section. And he keeps landing it. Yeah. It's a tough, very, very tough one. That's Kyo I'm talking about. He's... Um, his, his only losses have come to very good fighters. That attempt at the Oji Gary, again. again by Fegan, manages to get Kyo down on his back. They almost make me an other an armbar attempt. We've seen a few armbar attempts now tonight from bottom. Yeah, it seems to be the weapon of choice this evening in Clonmel. One particularly nasty one in that heavyweight bout not long ago. Nice wrestle up. Into a headlock position again. I'm impressed with Fegan so far. These guys look fit. They look like they have their fitness well under wraps anyway. They're prepared. Yeah, I've seen Kyo come in against high-level opponents on short notice. And he's uh, always in fight shape. Building a great wealth of experience here in the amateur lightweight ranks. Letting the shots go. Now, this southpaw stance can be difficult for some fighters to get to grips with there's that inside leg kick he likes to go inside and outside with these manages to get Fegan down on his back now after catching that kick he looks like he doesn't want to engage too much with this with his guard yeah he's going to just look to punish him from this position maybe let him back up does so I'm not sure Kevin's position jiu-jitsu wise belt wise or whatever but he was finished here by Armin the Crane Herzig in the cage after shooting the takedown found himself in a guillotine earlier in the year Likes to test himself against some of the best the country has to offer. Great first round, very technical fighting. Yeah, very good round for both fighters. Guys. I like this. Losses were to Armin Herzig, as mentioned. David Zamora, Tiernan Lochran. Not names to be sniffed at, so. You know, Sean McCullough looking to make his comeback also this year, September, October, he told me earlier. Outside leg, leg kicks, kicks again. Yeah. Ah, Kyo lets that left hand go to the body. Beautiful work. Look at the redness on uh, on uh, Aiden's body you can there. See it there, yeah, yeah. Can't tell if it's a cut, maybe or it's a welt, I think, from one of those body he's shots. He's got blood coming out of his nose too. He's after eating some shots in this round. Kyo looks to be finding uh, finding his feet in the striking exchanges now at the start of round two, and not to mention his takedown defense. He's he's yeah. defending takedowns like it's going out of fashion here as well. It's great. Yeah. And we know here that we know what the option that Fegan is looking for from this position. He wants to step inside. Kyo doing a better base, a better job of keeping his base here and not going squaring up his hips. He likes the trips. 
You have to watch out for the knees of Kevin as well because he's landing them constantly in, the, in these clinches. Yeah. There we go, go another one. as you call it. And Joe disengages, gets that space, bloodied up the nose of Fegan a little bit. Sprawl is nice. Joe just finding his range beautifully now. The leg kicks he told me about, he was not telling Phibs. Yeah, he took the base out from underneath. He took the, the front leg out completely from underneath here in Lachlan a few times during that fight last month. So they are a very, very effective weapon. And he drove here and he turned here and Lachlan, Lachlan into a wrestler in that last bout. Tiernan couldn't hang with him on the feet. And Tiernan is no joke. He's one of the top featherweights in the country. So Kevin's working this body. It's gonna you're gonna see huge, huge dividends paid from working the legs and body like that. Yeah. Especially an amateur, you're really you're really gonna take the wind out of these guys. Yeah, the variety of strike is beautiful. Nice entry by Fee. Beautiful takedown. Runs the pipe excellently, puts Kyo down on his back. And he needed to because he was uh, fighting an uphill battle seemingly in those striking exchanges for the last couple of minutes. Now Kevin tried to go for an armbar the last time. Yeah. He was in this position, so we'll see what he's thinking this time. Didn't have the bite up in the kick. arm either time. And Them up kicks can be very dangerous if they land. He's listening to his corner. His corner was shouting for heavy, heavy hips, and he put he dropped the hips instantly. And he's on the opposite side of the cage. Vegan just snuffing the, the life out of the latter part of this round. He may not have done enough to swing the round on the judges' scorecards because I think Kyo landed enough impactful strikes over the first chunk of that round. And not to mention, Aiden's wearing the fight in his face and the judges see these, this can, uh, these can sway the decisions. Going the into this third and final round. I'm very excited to see how this round goes. Yeah. These boys are these boys are fighting and they're very technical, both of them. Yeah, two highly skilled amateur MMA fighters. This one's up for grabs, I think. He's shown him that jab. Trying to get that read, trying to get that reaction. I don't think either of these guys are particularly tired. No, both both guys looking good in good shape. Nice entry there by Fegan. Didn't manage to complete just yet, but goes oh. for that. Uchimata doesn't manage to complete it. Good balance by Kyo. That was good. That's a very effective um, throw, so. Catches well, the kick, does Fegan. Excellent timing. Again, is Kyo going to just uh, manage to disengage? Little short right hook over the top, and another knee when he was in um, when he was in the clinch. He's getting them knees in every time. He's sticking to his game plan. You can see he's doing the same stuff he was doing in round one and round three, which is great to see. Yeah, I just like how Kyo mixes up his strikes, the little switch in his stances, and trying his best to control the distance here. You can tell Fegan wants to just get a hold of him and put him down, but it's very difficult. Kyo defended very well so far, but how long can he keep, keep Fegan off him is the question. Fegan's got that body lock. He's trying to, going to try now and pull the legs of Kyo out from the cage. You can see Kyo has been training all this cage work. He's been, he was expecting this wrestling. Yeah. He has his head on the right side. Yeah, that right arm under hook he has now, he needs to drive that up, drive it north. There's a knee again. And bring the head of Fegan up higher, which would make it a bit more difficult for him to get the takedown. Fegan has to be well. feeling these knees to the stomach. Yeah, they will take that gas tank away. Goes for that Owuchi, Gary gets it. But is Kyo onto a triangle attempt here? He's got the head pulled down, but he loses that grip. There was a moment there where he could have got that left leg over the shoulder. Little up kick catches, uh, catches Fegan as he's climbing back to his feet. That was Huge a beautiful big shot. heavy shot down the middle. Right hand down the pipe. A lot of weight behind it from that high. That is a great way to pass any guard. The right hand in the nose. Jiu-Jitsu becomes a lot less uh, prominent when you're getting punched in the face. Yeah, it's a little harder to uh, harder to look so pretty on the ground. Someone's hitting you right down the pipe, but Kyo does very well. Get back again. to his feet, but rolls under. Lovely, lovely Beautiful. roll by Kyo. Really well timed. 
There was an option there of catching the knee bar on the way through, didn't get it, but managed to get Close. himself back to his feet and get the shots away. He's coming with force now. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to lose this round. Yeah, both guys are going heavy. And that. Kyo caught Fegan standing side on there and rattled that hamstring. Look at the redness mm, on the inside of Fegan's leg and the outside. That, that leg has felt some damage. He's going to be uh, struggling with this one, you would think, tomorrow. But there yes, it is again, is that Uchi Uchigari, just a beautiful, beautiful takedown executed four times by Fegan this evening. That was a beautiful fight, amazing fight. What a matchup, I would watch that all night. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards for a decision. Your judges score this bout, 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. 